G'day humanoid life forms. Chewy here, doing day three of the long, sorry, the big walk for little kids. As you all know, yesterday I twisted, rolled, strained, sprained, I don't know, hurt my ankle. I'll give you a good look at that now. This is how it looked last night. And uh, after I get back from my walk, I'll take off my dressing and I've strapped it up. Should be all right. And I'll give you a look at how it looks now. It's not as black and blue as I thought it would be, but you know what, I'm fine. I'm still walking all right. Two things on this walk. One, testing a new little vlogging setup that I've got. Got the purple panda mic here with a little dead cat with a wireless transmitter, there it is, and on top of my GoPro, I've got a wireless receiver, I'll see how the sound works through the, the GoPro, when I tested it, it sounded pretty good, It's one other thing I want to talk about, and I'll get to that when I get down to the park. Right here. This is where I rolled my ankle. Right here. I just stepped here and I rolled my ankle out that way. What an idiot. I wish I was filming behind me just then. The guy on the bike up ahead of me was just being swooped by the magpie. Those of you who've been swooped by a magpie before, it is one of the most terrifying experiences an Australian. I don't know about where else in the world, but I'd assume wherever there's magpies that they swoop. But here in Australia, they seem particularly vicious. I'll put a clip of a lady screaming getting chased by a magpie right now. Here comes the thing I really wanted to talk about. I made a vlog yesterday on the motorcycle, but my dead cat fell off the microphone and the microphone was just dangling inside the helmet. So the audio was very much unusable because of the wind noise. What I was talking about was what started me moto vlogging. I saw a Prius in front of me and I said, out of my way Prius and the good old gorilla biker knows exactly what I'm talking about the channel of suburban delinquent I was started to think about well, what actually made me you know start moto vlogging start putting a camera and a microphone while I was riding a motorcycle to film the adventure and have a chat and I think it came down to Suburban Delinquent. He was my first experience of moto vlogging that I enjoyed. And I'd say that right now he's still the only big, when I say big, I mean really big moto vlogging channel that I, that I subscribe to and watch. I thought that looks pretty easy and fun. I might give that a try. Do this. What satisfaction do I get from talking to people that I've met virtually and in some cases they are on the other side of the world. Big shout out to Kev, Palmetto Moon, how are you? And especially the one I'm wearing right now, the homie Bill. Last night homie Bill, or my last night, his yesterday, homie Bill ran three miles and he's been giving me motivation to get out and get fit. I really appreciate it, homie Bill. One love, my brother. It's about a year ago that I made that song for you and I've got something else in the works for you too, mate. And, and that's the reason why I still do this. It's people like you. People that 
give me encouragement, give me support, give me friendship that have kept me making these videos. And now I'm just walking and making a vlog. Who would have ever thought three years ago when I started moto vlogging, I would also just vlog walking around. But it is to connect with you people. That gives so much back to me. And I really appreciate you all and thank you very much. All right, a bit longer than I was hoping for, but I hope I didn't bore you too much. Thanks for coming on the walk with me and supporting me. Till next time. Be good to each other. Chew we out. Peace. G'day, I'm back. Do you want these? Do you want these? You want them? Yeah? You want these? Alright, here we go. You ready? Which one do you want this one? Oh, for a good cause. <laughs> See ya.